I'm Joshua Bardwell, and you're going to learn something today. And one of the things you're going to learn is that I made this video in a real hurry. But I'm going to make up for the <laughs> substandard quality of this video production by giving away two of these chargers. Uh, I'll tell you more about these chargers in a minute. But yeah, whenever I always feel like I didn't I rushed a video out, I try to do a giveaway. And I hope you guys, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, we like getting free stuff. The product I want to show you today is this device. And the other reason I wanted to do a giveaway is that there's not actually a lot to say about this product. I'm kind of just telling you that it exists. I think that some of you, when you see what it is, you'll be excited and you'll be glad to know it exists. But I know that a lot of you guys, you, you don't tune in for me to just give you product announcements. You want knowledge and information. And this video doesn't have a ton of that either. That's why I'm doing the giveaway. Okay. okay. Stick. So what is this? This is the ISDT FD100 Smart Discharger. So here's the situation. You finish your day of flying, you got some packs, they're not at 3.8 volts. You need them to be at storage voltage, right? It's, you, it's good to store your packs. You didn't, if you didn't know this, now you know. It's not good to store your packs at full charge for too long. The longer you store them at full charge, stuff happens inside. I don't actually know what it is. Chemistry happens inside the pack and it loses capacity, it loses performance. So it's optimal to store the packs at about 3.8 volts per cell. Some people, some chargers charge to like 3.84, some charge to 3.80. I'm not sure what the exact number is, but it needs to be somewhere in that range. Now that doesn't mean that if you charge your packs the night before you go to fly and you leave them overnight, that's that's not a big deal. And, and in fact, you could leave them for, you know, a day or two. It's probably not a big deal. I don't actually know where the line is, where you start seeing degradation. I think it's actually cumulative. The longer the battery spends at full charge, the more its performance is degraded. So I'm not sure that there's a difference between leaving a pack for 10 days or leaving it for one day 10 times. But the bottom line is you want to keep them, you want to have them be charged up as little as possible. As, as, as seldom as possible. And the way to do that is with a device like this. Now, you, your, your battery charger, like this or any other, has a storage function that will run the batteries down to 3.8 volts. But many chargers, they discharge at like maybe one amp max. And so it takes a long time to discharge the battery down, uh, you, especially if you have a ton of batteries that you need to do takes forever. Now, if you are lucky enough to have a great big charger, like, uh, for example, the iChargers are, uh, from Progressive RC are one that has a really good discharge current, then this, you don't need this. You just do it on your charger and it's fast. But if you have one of these guys, it takes forever. Here's what this does. You plug it in here. You press the cells button to pick whether it's a 2, 3, 4, 5 cell or whatever. So I'm going to do that. Oh, it's on 4 cell now. Hang on, i got to there, one, two, this is a four cell. You choose your discharge current and you see it goes up to six amps or 80 watts. And then it starts discharging the battery and it's doing that right now. You can hear the fan blowing. That's it. Now we'll sit here for a little while. Uh, it doesn't take very long to run one of these down. You could do the math. Six amps, 1500 milliamp hours. Uh, 1,500 times, that's one, four, that's 15 minutes, roughly. 15 minutes to fully discharge this battery, and even less than that to take it down to storage voltage. And then you just, that's it, you're done, you walk away. And you just wait till you hear the fan go off, and you move on to your next battery. How about that? You can also, if you have a parallel board, if you have a bunch of batteries that are fully charged, you can plug them all into the parallel board, plug the parallel board into here, and again, just do that, six amps, and it'll just run them all down. And this is, hang on a second, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to unplug that so you don't have to listen to that fan go. And this is great because, like, it's very, people say, oh, six amps, it's, this is like a $40 product. And some of you are going, $40 for, I can go get an automotive light bulb. I can go get my smoke stopper, and all you have to do with your smoke stopper is just get a, a, an alligator clip and jump this one to the other, and then when you plug it into the battery, it's discharging. Here, I'll show you. Now it's short-circuited, but because the smoke stopper is here, it's not dangerous. And I'll plug it in. Boom. Now the battery's discharging, and it's discharging at a rate of about... Hang on. Get out my handy-dandy clamp meter. By the way, this clamp meter, this is about a $40 product. It's great for a, for a DC-capable clamp meter. 40 bucks is great. That's about all I use this for. It's a full multimeter, but I just use the clamp meter pretty much. And the beauty of a clamp meter is I can just go like this and see how many amps I'm discharging. About three amps, a little less than three amps. And, you know, then 
it's done. By the way, and this is linked on my Ultimate FPV shopping list. I'll put a link in the video description as well. Uh, so now I'm discharging it like 3 amps. Let me just unplug this so you don't have to stare at the blazing light of a thousand suns. You're discharging at 3 amps, and this is, you know, this is like a 5 or $6 thing if you make it, right? Not very expensive. And you can get two of them. You can get two of these and put them in parallel. Now you have 6 amps discharge. Voila, you're done. And you've saved a lot of money over this. But, of course, the disadvantage of this is that it'll just kill your battery. This is a battery discharger all the way down to zero. So if you happen to not hear your alarm, if you have a battery alarm, or if you happen to just you know, miss it or something, it's just gonna destroy the battery. And by the way, this is how I, people ask, how do you discharge batteries? When a battery's damaged, what I do is I do exactly what you just saw me do there, and I just go put it outside on the concrete driveway and wait and come back a day later and the battery's dead. That whole trick where you put it in a bucket of salt water, I've never really understood. Why, if you have a smoke stopper, you don't need to do that. So this is fine and this is cheap and this will get you done if you never screw up and miss the fact that it, your alarm is going off or your battery is being discharged. With this guy, you don't have to think. You just plug it in, you set the amps, you walk away and it'll stop at 3.8 volts per cell. Boom, you're done. Okay, great. I guess you did. some of you learned a few things. You learned that you can use your smoke stopper to discharge. You learned that the salt water trick is really not necessary. And, uh, you know, yeah, okay, maybe you did learn a few things. So now let's talk about the giveaway. So I've been watching a ton of Electroboom's YouTube channel lately. If, if you don't know about Electroboom, if you're into electronics at all, or if you just like watching a grown man repeatedly shock himself with electricity, go check out Electroboom's channel. I want to be just like him when I grow up. Uh, and the way he does his giveaways is he'll give one thing away to his YouTube viewers and one away to his patrons. And that's what I'm going to give a try to. So if you uh, are one of my patrons over on Patreon.com, link in the video description, I'll post a description over there of how to enter the giveaway for one of these. If you're a YouTube viewer, you can comment down below and leave one comment, one comment only. Your comment is your entry. Uh, and uh, check the video description for the full legal rules and, and regulations. Uh, and I'll do a drawing. I'll announce the drawing here on the channel. I will post a video on the channel with the winner's announcement. So check back to the channel in two or three days. Again, check the video description for the full rules and regulations. Thank you guys so much for watching. Apologies for the shoddy quality of this video. Only one camera, geez. Uh, but I am, I am rushing, two things. I'm rushing to get catch a plane right now. I'm actually going to Germany for work. Um, and uh, the other thing is that I'm, I just finished yesterday the receiver antenna shootout where I test whether the longer and shorter receiver antennas on FreeSky receivers actually make a difference in range. And it's a ton of data and it's just been a ton of work in editing going through that stuff. So I, I hope to have that video out today, but I just didn't get it ready in time. And that's why I'm banging this out before I now go pack and rush to the airport. Thank you guys for watching. Happy flying. Thank you.